From our investigation, we feel that this individual strongly is involved in other homicides. Uh, we have taken evidence out of the building by the medical examiner to be examined. Police removed boxes and boxes of body parts, evidence of what appears to be a psychopathic mass murder. Authorities also took out a barrel of what they think is acid. Police are reluctant to reveal exactly how many victims there might be, but knowledgeable investigators say it could be more than a half a dozen. Neighbors say the man was strange and that there was an odor coming from the apartment. However, no one suspected the accumulation of dead bodies. And the next thing I know, I heard the police open the refrigerator door and they said it was a dead body in there. Police are questioning the suspect downtown. All we really know about him is that he is 31 years old. I really don't know much about him. I know he's a single guy and he, he works every day and he likes to stay to himself. And the next thing I know, I heard the police open the refrigerator door and they said it was a dead body in there. Authorities marched out of the house with boxes of severed body parts. In a barrel wheeled out a vat of acid. In a refrigerator, left as it was found, at least two heads, the severed remains of victims of the alleged murderer. This morning, in an unprecedented news conference, the police chief, medical examiner, and district attorney joined in a public statement. At this point, all we can tell you is that it is a number of homicides, multiples. The investigation is still very dynamic. Uh, we don't know whether this individual acted uh, by himself or in consort with other individuals. The big question now is the identity of the victims whose heads, hands, and genitals were saved in the apartment. Dentists and doctors have already started the grisly effort. So far, no identities have been determined. And the area's top prosecutor wants other victims who might have survived an encounter to come forward. And we would certainly urge anyone that's had such an experience to step forward for one reason or another uh, persons don't do that. They, perhaps there's an aspect of their experience that they don't wish to share with the public. However, in this case, I would certainly urge if there are any individuals who had an experience in this vicinity, uh, we would certainly urge them to contact the police immediately. And actually, uh, uh, handcuffed and threatened with a knife uh, through some rather fortuitous circumstances, the individual was able to make his escape from the apartment when police returned to arrest the man, there was a struggle, and the uniformed police officers made the horrific discovery. Dismembered human remains, decapitated heads in a refrigerator freezer, limbs and male genitals in other containers, and a large barrel full of acid. Experienced homicide detectives say the killings have a sexual component. The male victims allegedly killed by a 31-year-old man, Jeffrey Dahmer, a man with a criminal history of sexual assault of a teenage boy. Yet no one expected the overnight discovery. The next thing I know, I heard the police open the refrigerator door and they said it was a dead body in there. Police have been here all day, pulling any potential evidence from the apartment and retrieving more possible human remains from a dumpster and on the ground behind the apartment. Authorities are assembling a criminal case against Dahmer and in doing so, the district attorney is asking any potential witnesses or assault victims to come forward. If there are any individuals who had an experience in this vicinity, uh, we would certainly urge them to contact the police immediately. I really don't know much about him. I know he's a single guy and he, he works every day and he likes to stay to himself. But there was that rotting smell, a familiar smell here for more than a year. The medical examiner's office uh, recovered numerous body parts. Um, the uh, also present at the scene was a large container that presumably contained um, some acid-like material. The parts, box after box of dismembered human remains were taken away. Now the job is to identify the victims. The pieces belong to at least four different people. The suspect, Jeffrey Dammer, has admitted to 14 or 15 killings according to police sources. At this time, we have no identifications on any of the uh, uh, specimens that we have recovered. All the victims were men. Experienced detectives say the killing appeared to have an aspect of sexual violence. The suspect has a criminal history of sexual assault of a 13-year-old boy. Jeffrey Demmer is on probation right now for that crime. Milwaukee's police chief has often criticized probation and parole systems. In this case, he's withholding judgment.
I have no comment on that at this particular time. I may have a comment on that uh, after we have reviewed and, re and researched this issue much more. The next thing I know, I heard the police open the refrigerator door and they said it was a dead body in there. Even this afternoon, police were retrieving what appeared to be bones from a dumpster in the back of the oh, Oxford man. apartments. The volume of evidence mounted a huge metal pot. Police sources say there were human parts inside. Videotapes, knives, anything that might even be remotely connected with the killings were packed up and carried out by investigators. But the shocking, gruesome evidence came out in the middle of the night. The boxes with body parts inside, the refrigerator loaded with severed heads, the large barrel with acid inside, and the almost unbelievable statements from a police lieutenant in charge. From our investigation, we feel that this individual strongly is involved in other homicides. Uh, we have taken evidence out of the building by the medical examiner to be examined. At the very moment this public statement was being made, some private statements were being made in a police interrogation room. According to police sources, Jeff Demmer was telling them about the killings. How many? 14, 15, maybe more. There are some big unanswered questions, though. Just who are the dismembered people killed in this mass murder? It's going to be the job of the medical examiner, probably with the help of a dental expert, to try to figure out who these victims are. At this time, we have no identifications on any of the uh, uh, specimens that we have recovered.